I'm going to show the current draw with the Capex and a couple different CTs. Right now the quad box you see there with the voltmeter leads in it, the amp probe around the lead, and the plug into it is plugged into a 15 amp circuit, which is all the way over there. And the service panel is somewhere over there. So you're looking about 27, 28 feet of 14 gauge wire it's running on. I do know the cords on the CT are 12 gauge. So standard length cords, nothing's been altered on them, they're 12 gauge. The CT I'm going to check or test with is, this is a CT36AC. You can see that the switch is set to automatic and the vacuum is turned all the way up. This is a CT22, the older model, and also again the suction on the unit is turned all the way up. The goal here is to see how much current draw we end up with between vacuums and various miter saws combined. This is obviously the Capex. Again, it's not mine. I borrowed it. So hopefully I don't destroy it, and one day maybe I'll return it. It is on the UG stamp. The boom arm, as you can see, comes up. There's a receptacle strip right there. Uh, some ball valves, I only got the one turned on. The black hose is actually for the Planex. It actually has a collar on it right there that locks onto the sanding device. I made the boom arms uh, just because this miter saw is an older Bosch. It's strictly a single bevel miter saw. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually test the Bosch miter saw. Again, this is a 15 amp circuit. Uh, if you look at the meters, you can see that we have a line voltage of approximately 116 volts, and the current draw right now is effectively zero. The Bosch miter saw does not have soft start on it, so we're going to see what happens when we pull the trigger here. It has a current draw with the vacuum of about 16.7 amps, and the voltage has dropped down to about 14 volt, or 112 volts. One thing I want to show you, and only because I notice that sometimes cables get a little warm, this isn't the most accurate gun in the world, but we're going to try and test check the temperature of that wire right there because that's the one all the current's running through it's about 64 degrees we'll check it again when we're done this is again the capex it does have soft start and it is currently going to control the be controlled also through the ct36 so we'll see what type of amperage draw it has The amperage draw on the Capex is higher, and I actually believe I know why. The other day when I showed what the voltage was at the brush, it was approximately 87 volts. Well, amperage is a factor of both voltage and watts. So because the voltage was or watts is a factor of amperage and volts, seeing as the voltage is lower, the amperage would be slightly higher. I believe on the Bosch, it is actually seeing line voltage. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run the Capex up and lock the trigger on so that you can actually see we're on a 15 amp circuit. But I do have to put the phone down, so bear with me here. Obviously it's running, and I'm going to head over here to the service panel. We can see it's a 15 amp breaker. And you can hear that the saw in the vacuum is shut off. There you go, it came back off. One other thing I'm going to do here. The 
piece of maple on the saw is approximately four and a half by three and a half. And we're going to make a cut and check the amperage. And we're also going to look at dust collection. The saw is pretty clean right now. We'll see how it is when we're done. the performance of the car. Uh, I didn't catch exactly how high the amperage went, but it probably went up to somewhere around 25 amps. And we're going to check the temperature of this lead again. The lead has gone up about a degree in temperature. The saw hadn't run that long, but they, obviously there is going to be some temperature change with current draw. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the CT22 and see what type of difference it makes. And, uh, you know, that's about all I can do with this, and hopefully somebody gets something out of it. Hang on. Lead for the CT22 with its dongle. Plugged in, we still have our voltage reading, and I'm going to go ahead and switch over the cord, I hope, just here onto the CT22. Obviously, the dust collection is not going to be there if I made a cut strictly because I'm not going to collect the dust collector. Let's see if we can get the fitting to go or the cord to go. Let's see here. Not exactly what I wanted to do was fumble around with this, obviously. Okay, we're plugged into the CT22. I'm going to turn the lasers on on the Capex to make sure that we have current power. Yes, we do. And now this is going to be the Capex with the CT22. And now the Bosch. So, a little more information for everybody. The saws will run on a 15 amp circuit. They will not run for a very long period of time. As I said before, all of the circuit breakers do have thermal protection in them. Once they heat up, they're just going to trip. Uh, once you do heat one up, you're going to be constantly resetting it. Uh, it'd be very rare that you would actually make a cut as long as I did. But it can happen, so you're going to have to make your own decisions. These things are obviously much better being run on 20 amp circuits. So this concludes the test. I hope so. everybody got something out of it. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.